I'm sitting here today with Dr. Darlin Bowman, and we have a couple of subjects that we want to cover today. Maybe, maybe there's some questions out there that, that everybody would like to talk to you about, Darlin. Um, let's start by talking about karma. Tell me your feelings about karma. Well, karma is a very interesting thing. We're so responsible for everything. I do want to tell you, I have a lot of this information on my website, Sedona Hope, so you might want to go there and read it, SedonaHope.com. But uh, we live many lives, and uh, a lot of them are happening now. So what happens is, whatever we do, we're responsible for. How, whatever we feel, whatever we think. We learn the best when things are not going really well. And that's because it's good to be happy, but you don't always learn a lot. So we're struggling and figuring things out. So if you kill somebody, now the really interesting thing is I find a lot of people are married to somebody that killed him in the past. So there's, there's karma there. It's easy to understand that kind of karma. But we're responsible for the kindness and the good things that we do. We're responsible. And there's rewards for that. And when we do things that are hurtful and cruel and we're really difficult to get along with, first of all, we suffer the most. And second of all, we're going to have to pay for it. The Chinese have a wonderful saying. They say, the wheels of justice grind slowly, but they grind exceeding fine. So I'm really mad at somebody. I just turned it over to the Chinese. <laughs> so what else did you want to talk about? Anything else you had in mind? Questions like? Another subject that, that I know that we have touched on a little bit that, that um, maybe people might find interesting is organ donorship. What are your thoughts about organ donorship? This is a really serious thing. I have people, and there's uh, testimonials on my website about this, is sometimes the person who's the donor, the personality, will uh, sort of take over the personality of the recipient. And I get calls on that at different times, and it's really important for people to realize that somebody with an organ transplant, their personality can change completely. If it's good, you may want to leave it alone. And if it's bad, you may want to get your spouse back or your whatever. There's a story on there about a, a kidney transplant where the person who was taking over uh, in the, the donor relationship was, had been a street person and was shot in the head. And so we had to take care of that by bringing angels in and sending that poor guy to the light. And that's what I do. We, we, we send people to the light. Those people who have died that are still not in the light, we, we have to help them. That's part of the work we do. And so, um, uh, darling, you are located in Sedona, Arizona. How, how can people get in touch with you? The easiest thing to do is go to my website, www.sedonahope.com, and there's a way to contact me, and I have international clients. I can easily set a phone appointment or a Skype appointment. Or if you're coming to town and you want to talk to me, I love to talk to people in person, and a lot of the resorts send people to me. So we would be happy to do that, too, because Sedona is a wonderful place to visit. Come and see me, and have a nice day.